Hello everyone, Darren here, and on today's episode of WotC Academy, we will be talking about map awareness. Now this is something that I get a lot of complaints about, or hear a lot of complaints about, and that is a lot of people just seem to tunnel vision on directly what's ahead of them, and not on the awareness of what is going on around the map. And so that is what this video is. Um, the re this is a replay uh, by my mentor from the Adopt a Blueberry program. He is uh, Desert Storm here. He is going to be um, using this clip here. And uh, this clip here that he sent me, uh, we actually walked through it together and he was reading me his, uh, his train of thought. And he suggested that after going th through this video with me that I should use this as a lesson for everyone else. So he's on Ducal Pass. He's going to uh, start down south here. I'm just going to kind of read off uh, some of the notes that I took while he was explaining to me what he was doing and how he was reacting. So he's already looking at the map and he's already formulating a plan while loading in. Um, again, he yeah, he's in the machine here. Uh, he's platooned up with a light tank and he's letting people know that he is going to go to uh, the E4, the E3, E4 area, because that's where he knows the enemy light tanks are going to try and go, and he wants to monopolize the view range. He wants to control the view range for his team and try and prevent the enemy team from getting that same view range. So that's where he's going to go. And uh, you're just... While throughout this video, instead of focusing on, you know, like you're playing the machine, focus on the map. And then also, you know, use this, this gameplay to practice focusing in between the mini-map and the, what, what is going on. Now, he, uh, he has selected the large map so that way he can actually see what is going on around the map and react that way. Now, you can see here that the majority of the team here still has not left the spawn. But that hasn't deterred him at all. He's actually still going to go to this spot right here. And he's going to prevent the, the light tanks from approaching the spot. And as you can see, he's already spotted a light tank, foiled their plans. His platoon mate and another light tank are pushing up to get additional view range on there. And he's just going to fire as many rounds as he can at the enemy tanks here. Now, pay attention here, because coming up, you're, you're going to notice uh, that the majority of the enemy team is going to get spotted in the south, yeah, the south right-hand corner of the map. And uh, he, he's going to notice this very soon, and he's going to react on it. Now, j just lo unfortunately, most of his shots are missing. I think it's just bad RNG for this game. But, you know, the, te our, the team has already stagnated right there on the 7 line. They haven't moved. More and more of their big tanks. There you go. See, there's the majority of the team. He has already noticed just now by that amount of red that has popped up down south that he, he knows that they are going to lose the southern flank. And so what he's doing is he's pushing up to uh, put he's going to push north to flank because he knows the south is going to be lost and lost very quickly here so he wants to rotate he want he wants to auto rotate the the uh, pretty much where the the tanks are so he wants to push the team that he has on the left hand side of the map he wants to push them north towards the enemy spawn while the southern while the enemy team is pushing south towards his spawn. So that's what he's doing right now, is he's pushed up ahead of his team to get more spots, and he's trying to motivate his, uh, his team to push up with him. Now, what you're going to see here is that, you know, like, like he predicted, the southern, the southern flank does actually get... Um, does get overrun here but looking at the game here he's already um he, he's already pretty much secured about half the pr half the map right now and he's just going to stay here and get spot and assist the team because that's for the most part what he what he's doing right now this entire time is he has supported the team uh, provided fi fire support now um again just pay attention to the map here you see that they have lost the southern flank and the scout, his uh, platoon mate down south, has uh, lost con uh, visual contact with the rest of the team. So what he's going to do is he's actually going to predict 
that um, the enemy ro team is going to rotate back to their spawn to defend. And so what he's going to do is he's going to actually do the same thing. He's actually going to go back to defend the base against whatever enemy team, uh, team tanks are there. So he's going to go back towards uh, the overlooking cliff there to get enemy shots on there. And then what he's going to do is he's actually going to eventually move to the middle to control... You know, control the middle. Control, you know, the flow of the southern flank there. And just look at the, the wonderful on-the-move shots. He, he gets two for four right there. A nice good 50-50 split. Better RNG than what I would have gotten. But right now, he's just he's, he's loading. He's taking, he's taking cover, which is what you should do in an auto-loader. His, uh, his platoon mate is kind of providing the vision for him while he's loading. They're both, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that was. Um, this was taken from a live stream. Um, so what you see here is you see him pushing up to try and get vision on the, on the enemy team in the middle. And, uh, right, he's just, he's patiently going to wait like a shark for the conqueror to screw up. So, you know, you see him, he's tracked him, he's just pumping the two shots in there, and it's just, yeah. It's just, it's just, his game's over, that Conqueror's game is now over. And so his platoon mate is going to go in there and he's going to finish him off. And it, it, it is at this point now that uh, Desert Storm here is actually going to move to the middle, like uh, like I mentioned previously. He's going to move to the middle to control the middle as best as he can and to prevent the enemy team from taking advantage of the middle. So he's re all his movements so far have been reacting to what the enemy team is doing. So instead of just going straight for the cap or you know, headlong charge to the enemy team or just focusing on that one tank. You, the, the, the lesson for today's video is to focus on what's going on around you. That's situational awareness. And in real life, not having situational awareness does will get you hurt, killed, whatever, whatever it is that you are doing in life, whether you're at a job, in the military, whatever it is. Not having that situational awareness is going to lead to injury of some sort. Or you just screwing up whatever your task is. Um, so what he's doing right now is he actually is going to focus down the Turtle God. He told me that Turtle God is actually a very good player. And so that is another thing to what he's reacting. is He is focusing down um, uh, Turtle God and his platoon mates. Trying to shut them down and prevent, um, prevent them from taking control of the middle right there. Um, he, he realized that if Turtle God and his platoon took control of the middle or even got one or two kills above on, um, above them on his team, that that would significantly decrease the chance of victory for, uh, Desert Storm here. Now, not much else here. So... What he's going to do right now um, is that he's going to start to notice that the enemy team is going to start trying to take the high ground on the 3-4 line. And it, just like in combat, 90% uh, of the time, he who holds the high ground is going to win. Uh, Sun Tzu kind of said otherwise on that, but, you know, that standard combat practice is if you hold the high ground, you're going to win. And a lot of people in World of Tanks fail to remember this or fail to put this in their mind and realize, hey, I'm on top of a hill. Now, he just shuts down the T-10 right there. The T-10 decided to charge him while he was loaded. Um, I don't ever charge an auto loader. I mean, if he's running away, that's a telltale sign that he's loaded, he's, on, he's reloading, or he's buying time to finish the reload. So, Play that cautiously. Read the signs and the actions of what the light tank is doing. Now, it cuts out there because, again, I took this from a live stream. I figured out a way to capture the live stream uh, videos. And, uh, unfortunately, I still get ads even though it's a replay. So I had to cut that out because I don't think you want to see a uh, deodorant ad in the middle of the video. Now, like I said, he moves to the middle to cut off, um, to try and circle around and cut off the escape of the enemy team. 
as well as tighten the noose. To do tightening the noose and cutting off the escape route pretty much traps the enemy team right in that spot and allows you to just slowly enclose in and give them less room to maneuver. It's all about map control in this game. It's all about map control. So he unloads all of his rounds into the 430U because he has the most health and he needs to whittle that down as much as possible. Now he's just going to go and, you know, do, do a fancy fight. You know, and I, don't, I don't even know what I'd call this, really. It's kind of just a reload fight dance. And they're just going to do this dance here till, uh Desert reloads um, before Turtle got here. And um, currently trying to hit those, uh, those nice little cheeks there on the side of uh, Turtle Gods. Give him a nice little good game salute or uh, something like that right there. Now, he's only got one round left here on the T-100. And so what he's doing right now is he's trying to keep his strongest armor front uh, facing the, the T-100 LT. And you can see this. The T-100 LT is doing an excellent job trying to get on the flank. Uh, Desert here gets ammo rack. That's not good. That's additional time that he needs to uh, try and avoid getting hit. Somehow, oops, excuse me, absorbs a shot from the T-100 LT, or he took the shot and it was a low roll. I wasn't quite paying attention. Um, and uh, right now, again, just keeping the front towards the enemy, keeping the strongest, uh, you know, armor towards the, uh, the T-100 LT. The uh, 50B hull is actually, I believe, the strongest hull of any Tier 10 heavy tank in the game. And as you can see, he wins the, the game. He carries the enemy team. Uh, not He carries his team to victory. And a very, very nice game with over 1,100 damage dealt. But overall, a very, very good game by Desert Storm 03. And that concludes today's video on map awareness. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Special thanks to my mentor, DesertStorm03, for sending the video. But until next time, this has been Darren of Watsi Academy.